Hello, Boleros! We're back for our weekly pod. As always, you have Dale, Sam, and Gab together again. Hey guys, what's up? Good, Hello, good, good, what's good, up? Good. Hello. It's been a while. I know. So, to everyone listening to us, make sure you've subscribed to our channel. Just type in Boleros PH if you haven't. And then... Go back to our video playlist. Ang dami pa naming episodes doon. We've recapped the whole UAAP season. Tapos may mga in-between na emergency pods that we think you'll love. So, share away, comment, and leave a like button. But for this episode, very special siya. We're still on the championship hive of UP Fighting Maroons. So Grabe yung it. shirt to. Grabe. Lahat ata naka-championship high. Ang dami mga billboards. May mga HD screen sa EDSA. Sabi ko, may budget? Karabi. Sinusulit. Sinusulit. Kasi ang ikli ng ano eh. Ang ikli ng pahinga. Every 36 years lang, Gab eh. Pag-ibigyan. May budget? Besides, you only have like 4 months na defending champs ata kami. Yung baka mag-welga yung mga scholar ng baka. Pag-ibigyan, pag-ibigyan. So, because of that, we're still gonna do a UP Fighting Maroons themed episode. So for this very special um, episode that we have, there coming UP Fighting Maroons Fantasy Draft. I hope you guys are hyped for that. Gab, let us know what will happen today. Okay, so just as a... Siguro, this... Just to disclose to our viewers or who, whoever will be watching this, uh, we only included season 72 to 84 because we cannot find a single source for all the lineups for the UP Fighting Maroons. As in, uh, I, I went down a deep rabbit hole, went through many forums, Rappler and Philippine Star news articles just to get all the players <laughs> of the UP Fighting Maroons over there. So if, so if, oh, so if anyone doesn't see their favorite player like Marvin Cruz or J.R. Reyes. Benji Paras. Uh, or Ronnie Benji Magsano. Paras. Ronnie yeah. with Eric Altamirano. <laughs> we didn't reach that far. I don't think anyone has any records of that. Or maybe the UP Athletics Office has a record of that, but we don't really know. It's not available online. Uh, so forgive us. It took me <laughs> two to three hours to get all these players <laughs> into a list. So... Yeah, here, here we go. We're gonna do this uh, fantasy draft style. So if anyone has played any fantasy basketball, it's it's a, it's a snake draft. So we'll uh, we'll be randomizing a list, and I will share that screen. So this list. So this is all for transparency. In case anyone will accuse us of cheating, no, we don't cheat in boleros. We we Not we may be <laughs> we may be boleros, but we're not cheaters. Okay, so so according to Sam, let's randomize three times. So yeah, no, yeah, na. Oh, I ako first pick. Okay, so okay, okay. Pumasok so oh my god, para ako yung next. So uh, this is the last. So I think we all want this first pick. Uh, and, and of course, uh, UP basketball has only big, been good the past few years. Relevant. Oh, nga. Eh. Relevant. So, so, so we're going to go into the more oh. recent players. Oh, so feel the mga championship team pipili natin lahat. Eh. <laughs> All right, and the last. Kaya ah. nagsabi, eh. Okay, Dale. Okay, Dale. Okay, so, si Dale. So, Dale, Gab, and then... Dale, Gab, Sam. Okay, okay I, I, so... Um, Dale, Gab, Sam. Uh, so, just as an additional uh, rule right. for everyone, you can... We don't have position. We're positionless. Wow, modern time. Uh, <laughs> Progressive. More advanced than the NBA. Still has positions in their all NBA teams. What bullshit. And anyway, uh, so you can draft in any, in any way you like. You can form your team in any way you like. You want... You know, all big men, go ahead. If you want all guards, go ahead. But it's up to you. But just to, to make it fun, every time you make a pick, uh, sort of explain why you're taking this pick, why you're taking him uh, uh, at this position. 
in the draft. So let's start. Dale, you are the uh, first pick. Gab, Gab, mga ilang players pipick natin. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Maybe like eight, oh, eight uh, rounds. Yeah, let's let's do it eight rounds. If time permits, let's do ten. But I will do More, two okay, fives. Yeah. Although, sige, sige. honestly, with the UV players, I don't think I have a tire like ten. Oh, oh <laughs> nga, I have yeah, to yeah. reach. Sige, we'll see. Yeah, actually, hindi siya if reach, time permits, reach. if the list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, permit. if, the, if the list permits, we can do ten. So, I think a, a lot of the our viewers will be like, if they're younger, who? Google <laughs> 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 with us. Google Kahit ako, napapahuwa ko eh. Minsan, napa- uh, si- ano nga ba yung stats nito? <laughs> so, <laughs> Tapos, Gab, can you explain to everyone na we're, we're just basing it off their UP performance, no? Tama? Yeah, we're basing it off their UP performance. So, if they, ha- if they were not good as a UP player and then uh, they suddenly went ballistic in the pros, uh, that doesn't count. It's only based mm-hmm. on their performance in their UAP career. All right, okay. and UP career. Sorry, so if they transferred to another school, that doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, clear. Clear. Okay. So, with the first pick of the Boleros UP Maroons draft. All right, I'm not gonna overthink this. I'll go with our season 81 MVP, Bright Aquati. Whoa! Think of, think of what? Whoa! 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 Oh, hey. Wait, lang. Hahayaan mo na kayong magtalo-talo sa ibang positions. Pero, just looking at our list of players sa front court, specifically sa center, I know we're doing this positionless. But, yung center spot pa rin, for me, has always been problematic for UP. And, parang konti lang naman yung, uh, very handful lang talaga dun sa list that we have, ha, na, na gusto kong kuhanin for my center. So, I'll just go with Bright. Yung stats niya, wala naman tayo masasabi dyan. 18.9 points um, throughout his UP career. 18.9 points, 14.6 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 1.1 steals. So, the MVP, I'll go with him for my first pick. Magtalo-talo na kayo sa ibang center. <laughs> Feeling ko naman, alam Whoa! ko rin, magtatalunan yung ilang, center. Uh, ilang years, ilang years si Bright sa UP? Think, uh, would you remember? Two, uh, was it just two or, two or two three? Two. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, okay. So it was two, the yeah. peak of UP, no? Yeah. Yung yeah. nag-final sila and final four. Okay. Whoa, he just needs Bright. to work on his endurance. <laughs> and durability, medyo lagi siyang may mga minor injuries during his uh, time with UP, there. no? Kasi yung pressure din naman for him nung time niya. So, if all goes as planned, hopefully I can give um, other offensive power also around him. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I have in, I have in, in my top picks also, pero I'm surprised he was he went number one. Medyo nagulat ako doon. Oh, I was like surprised. That. Let's get spicy. Oh, hey, because wow, great, great, great pick, great pick, Dale. Great pick. Wow, right. Para marami, pick. para marami tayong pwedeng pagtalunan. Bakit ba? <laughs> okay. Okay. Un- understood, but I'm still surprised. Oh, okay. yeah. So, I'm still uh, surprised because my pick is who I thought would go number one. And he's also a, a big man. So I'm going to go with Malik Juf, the... Uh, hey, the recent hey. finals MVP. I thought you would take him number one. I, I don't know. I, I, uh, I was picking between Bright and uh, Malik too. Malik, but yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, he's a more complete defensive player. I don't think anyone can argue that he's. I think he's four inches taller than Bright Takweti. Mm-hmm. He's not as strong, but. You know, he's awkward sometimes and he makes questionable <laughs> long <This> passes. <laughs> but but uh, I think he's shown that he's the perfect uh, modern big man. The modern uh, big that could uh, go out, guard guards, guard smaller guards, and uh, yeah. move with them. Uh, whatever pick and roll coverage you ask of him, he, 
he can do that. He can do a drop. He can do hedging, traps, anything. As, as you saw, if, if, if anyone remembered from the three-game series with Ateneo, uh, man, the pick-and-roll coverage by Malik Juf was off the charts. So, yeah. And he went toe-to-toe with Ange Kwame. Mm-hmm. I think that that speaks for itself. Uh, so, with this... I want a good center on my team that can protect the rim and cover a lot of ground. And I think Malik Juf has this. I thought he was going number one. Hello. Uh, go into this drama. Honestly, like, uh, I'm going to kay Malik Juf. Si Malik oh, nga, oh, naman, nga. fine. Like, nasa list siya. Nasa parang team A ko siya kung hindi siya ma-pick early. Pero, okay. Let's, let's also add in the context na I'll be the first pick tapos I'll really go with Malik na one season ko pa lang napanood versus Bright who I've also seen um, growth and a bit of a struggle a bit of a story more of a story with with UP so I mean para I think it all uh, plays a role into the pick but the two of them ano naman sila parang I'm looking at the stats then of Malik yung end of season stats niya halos ang lapit tungo sa sinabi kong stats ni ni Bright. Si Malik is at 12.3 rebounds, 11.7 points. So, sobrang lapit. Steals pareho din, nasa 2. And assists also. So, sobrang magkapareho sila halos ng stats na rin. So, I guess, ano nga lang siya. Matter of taste on how you'll 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 build the team. So, yung mga nasa ibang options niya. So, obvious dun sa first pick na yung surprise namin ni Sammy. What? Right? <laughs> Uh, Ahala ho din eh, Malik eh. Ahala oh, really? ho. Oh, really? Oh, sabi niya, I'm not gonna overthink it. Uh, oh, oh, really? Ah, ang ganda rin ito. Sabi ko, oh, okay, sige. I'm picking Malik Bright. He's, 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 he, yung, he's picking Malik. Well, bright? Okay. Ahala ko mapipick ko pa si Bright. Ahala ko mapipick ko pa si Bright. Okay, sige. Um, Pero pareho big think... man agad ah. Oo nga. So, I think, obviously, uh, obviously we all... <laughs> yes, exactly. I think we all um, uh, had the same strategy uh, to mm-hmm. Dale's point nga. Um, uh, impo- I think for UP at least, uh, maybe not for other schools, pero for UP, I think very important to draft a big man kasi in the past, what, like, ilang years yun? Ilang seasons yun, Gab? Um... 12, 12 seasons. Uh, well, it's 13. There was not, there was not a lot of good big men in UP, and, and that's one of the reasons why they uh, weren't as good. Um, they had a lot of um, fill foreigners or even imports. But let's ad- honestly, let's admit it. Before Malik and Bright, no one was really good. Then some mga um, imports ng UP. So I think it makes to- sense that. Go, Gab. And, and to anyone who's wondering, we'll be showing our list, the one we're basing it off. Uh, ah, just an Excel I'll sheet. Later. Do not, uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a Google sheet to, uh, to everyone. Do not judge us. A for effort, <laughs> man. Oh, A for effort. We, I went to a rabbit hole for this spot. Uh, so, okay. so, we, we'll so, so, go, Sam, go, Sam. So, makes sense. Makes sense naman kasi wala masyadong big. So, um, I'm happy I, even though I didn't get uh, I'm the last pick for the first round. I'm happy with my pick. Um, going for another big man, Carl Tamayo for me. Um, it's his first year, uh, but uh, this guy has proven that he can uh, really take UP to the championship. Um, maybe has been inconsistent for during the finals, but he, you know, UP wouldn't be there without. Wouldn't be in the finals or even in the final four without this guy. This is the king, according to Nico Ramos, the king of UP. Um, Carl Tamayo, he's 6'7", he's 6'8". Six, six, uh, not as big as Malik, but I think he can play. If we're doing positionless basketball, I think he can play multiple positions, um, can guard multiple pos- positions. Uh, I remember in a couple of games, siya pa nagbababa ng bola kasi hindi mababa ng mga guards niya yung bola. So, uh, he can shoot, he can score inside, he can rebound. Uh, really happy with my pick. I'm getting Carl Tamayo as my first round pick. Uh, so, 
Ako ulit, Gab, di ba? Yeah, eh. It's, yes. it's, it's your pick ulit. Okay. This is tougher for me oh kasi um, marami akong gusto i-pick but I know that they will be picked by Gab and Dale kasi after I pick, it would be Dale, Gab, no, Gab, it'll be me. Dale. Ah, Gab muna. Ay, after... Ah, sorry, sorry. Gab, Gab, Dale, Dale, Gab. Dale, so, Gab. four spots. Ah. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Kinakabahan ako sa ipipick ni Sam. Parang dead style. I, I'm, I'm choosing between two guys. Um, okay. okay. I prefer someone else. But because I didn't get Diof or Bright. I think I'm going to go with Zave Lucero as my second round pick, my first pick. Ah. My round. So I'm going small ball. I want if I'm playing Carl, if I'm playing Carl Tamayo at, as my center, I would really love to have Zave as sort of like my power forward with Carl. That way, I have like ah. two, six, seven guys that can rebound and add. Uh, play multiple positions and defend multiple positions. So, um, okay, Zave Lucero for me. Ah. Ganda yun, ganda yun. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so, I like my picks. I'm happy. I'm we're, happy. We're going with the modern maroons. <laughs> oh my, three <laughs> out of the four. <laughs> no one three out of the four. <laughs> So, Gab, for my naman, pick, gusto mo mag-throwback. Gusto mo mag-throwback, Gab? Sige na, uh, for the fans. Uh, for the fans, for the fans. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Mga season 72, no. Gab. Sige na, Gab. Sige na. I want to win this draft. <laughs> and I guess we'll let the <laughs> subscribe, our viewers, pick the winner for this draft. But for my second pick in this UP Fantasy Draft, I'm gonna go with June Manzo. Wow. Okay. Why? Wow. Okay. I didn't expect nice the second. Okay. Oh, okay, oh wait, I didn't expect him to go in the second round. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I um Okay. Here, okay. yung Here's my point. Uh for me in basketball, the, the two most important positions are the center position and the point guard position. And uh if you're picking a point guard, I want a point guard who has leadership qualities who can set people up and uh, who's going to be, you know, uh, a, a guy that commands respect. And I think June Wanzo is that guy. I, I've, I've seen him play countless times. This guy has heart. He's a decent shooter and he's definitely a playmaker. He can, uh, I think uh, JD Cogolan is better finishing around the rim, but uh, I think June Manzo has the better leadership qualities because we've only seen seen one year of JD Kagulangan here. So I'm gonna go with June Manzo. I love this guy. He's young, he's intense. Yes, yeah. yes, I agree. Great I... leader. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pero ang taas niya, ah. taas niya uh, yeah. Honestly, I, I didn't expect, expect him to third second. Third. Nasa third round siya sa akin. Nasa ah. third round. Okay, so I'm okay, super Dale. happy he's still available. Point guard also. And I guess kung si Bright yung una kong pinili, feeling ko mapipredict nyo na rin na magsila yung second. I'll go with one GDL for my point Damn guard. Damn it. Damn it. I good don't pick, think I'll put the match talaga ng other than the first two rounds. I don't oh, think oh, you guys oh, oh, expected oh, him to be that low. So I'll go with one GDL. Um the heart is there, obviously, and super well loved by the UP community. I've seen him play live also, very exciting. And um I think you know time yeah, he has uh, like he has shown brilliance also in the in the other non UP teams they've played for. He has played for, but at least with the UP years, he has given it his all. Um the playmaking is there. The coaches trust him as well to uh, to take the big shots if needed. So I like that for my point guard. Um, and I think partnered with Bright, they can do 
great things together. Um, the camaraderie. We've seen there. that. We've seen yeah. that already. Exactly. So we exactly. know it's good. Proven na, think, diba? Proven na. Yeah. My thing lang with uh, one is I don't think he's he, he needs the ball. Uh, I think you saw this in his last playing here with UP when mm-hmm. he was put off the ball. He couldn't really do much. And I think that's the reason why he he's not uh, his staying he power. Not in the, stay uh, he, no, 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 not really that. His staying power in the national team and even in the B League yeah, was was pretty uh, uh, short because um, he, he's kind of like Terence Romeo at that. You know, you take him off the ball, he can't really do shit. <laughs> or he, or he, or yung yung or no, wala siya ng gana to, to do shit because he he needs the ball in his hands. He, he wants to score. You, you, he wants to make plays. And I think you saw that. Oh, if you if you if you watch the time he had in Gilas, he really struggled when uh, he 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 was not handling the ball. And even if it's in his B League sticks uh, stint, I I don't think he even touched the floor that much because yung if you don't give him the ball, mawawalan siya ng gana, yung even to play defense. So that's just my yung my concern with one. That's why that, that's why I pick June Manzo, Manzo over him. Manzo. Yes, because but no matter what you do with June Manzo, he's gonna give it. He's gonna yeah. bring it. I, I mean, to be fair, defensively, mas okay din si Manzo than than si Manzo. Mas may effort. But yes. I I like one. I think I think it's still a good pick, worthy of uh being picked in the second round. Um. Fico Minalas lang that, din talaga siya. Yeah, the talent is definitely no. there. The, the, yeah. the talent is definitely there. He's, he's definitely more talented than June Man. So it's just, it's just effort. It's just effort. He's, he, he's like Fico Ben Minalas, Simmons. Grabe, hindi naman. Grabe, wala. Hindi ko yung coaching then. I mean, hindi naman tayo magpipick ng coaches, fine. But yeah, coaching can... <laughs> <laughs> diba? I, I feel like coaching could have uh, made an impact also on how Juan could have improved throughout his um, tenure sa UP. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I Good think pick. you're still up next. Ito ulit. Aren't we showing yung uh, Oh yeah. Oh, sige, sige. sige. Okay. Mga pala. Sam. Mga pala. So, for our viewers, we're gonna show our list those in red have been taken. Those so this is your chance to view the players and perhaps do some research. Go into a deep dive on YouTube, find out what they look like. <laughs> See if you remember. Them. Copy paste nyo lang lang namin sa ano sa description. Copy paste nyo lang sa Google. Recap. <laughs> recap lang just to do a recap. Um. Uh. For Dale, ang napick niya so far, Bright Aquete and one GDL. For Gab, uh, Malik Diuf and uh, June Manzo. Then for me, I have Carl Tamayo and Zave Lucero. So first two rounds are done. Those are the teams so far. Comment down below if merong sinong sa tingin yung panalo sa draft na to later on pag natapos natin. Ah shit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So Dale, go ahead. It's your okay. turn. Oh, ito hindi naman super recent, pero I think, ano pa rin siya. Um, may, may name recall, especially this season. So, I'll pick another guard. Um, Akin to! Hindi, Jetman. Ah! <laughs> Jetman. I thought I called it. Ah. Yeah, I mean, wow. Oh, nga, I hala mo you find, there's a story behind. Pero, I mean, playmaking, I'll still go with Jetman well. He has... Better decision making, also. Feeling ko ano rin siya. I, I think I've mentioned this in the past episodes before, diba? Very smart player. Hindi as honestly, nung neri research ko na. Nagulat ako sa stats niya. Parang hindi siya as flashy during his season. Pero, yung, uh, what do you call this? Yung naging end of career stats niya. 15.7 points pala siya. Hindi ko nga expect na na ganun kataas. I was expecting like 10 points uh, per game from him but apparently when well, nag-double digits siya sa points. Um, he, yung, he didn't play with anyone that good so he had the ball in his hands all the time. In, well, that I also. Think he, I think yun din yung naging problem ni Jet no, na he couldn't really like play make as much because mm. wala siyang mapasahan. Uh, <laughs> Parang siya, he had to score by yeah. himself. Yeah, so 
um, I was impressed by that and no may additional research pa nagulat pa ako dun sa naging stats niya. And um, I think he'll also be a great leader for the team. Um, I think they will be able to share the court well, sila ni Juan, and feeling ko it will work with, with Bright as well. So I'm happy with na available pa siya at this round. So I'll go with Jet. Oh, hey, Jet Manuel. Uh, Jet Manuel. Hi, IQ guy. Hi, IQ guy. Leader. Uh, leader. Very smart. Very smart. Current broadcaster. Good yeah. broadcaster. Nakamay lang sa math. Yung kite engineer siya. <laughs> Go lang, Jet Manuel. <laughs> He's a pretty good shooter, <laughs> though. He's a pretty good shooter. He's a pretty good shooter. He, he, he was on my list. He was on my list. All right, so for my third pick in this UP Fantasy Draft, I'm going to go with, and it pains me to say this, but it's too hard to leave him off the board. He's too talented, too athletic. Kobe! Sabi na. I'm going to go with Kobe Paras. You can't leave him off. Yep. Come on, you can't. Yeah, the tournament, the tournament. He's too talented. He's too athletic. Uh, I don't think you can... Uh, argue uh, that he can score and he can play make as well and he can play defense to our, our to our surprise eh. okay can I gab I think no wala si gab wait ayan ayan I can hear him okay sige gab ako na na, na break na break yung uh, no, no, no. internet si Kobe kasi yung pinili mm. Oh nga eh. Okay. Um, medyo choppy video mo ka, pero okay lang. I'll proceed. Uh, ang hirap for me kasi I feel like I'm just build, I'm just building the championship team. Honestly, like yung nasa top of my list puro coming from puro the championship Puro yung ngayong team. season. <laughs> Oo, so... Recent, ang tindi ng recent si Baya, Sam. Grabe. Oh, hi. Hindi ko alam if I should change it up just for fun. Para lang masaya. Oh, sige. Uh, leave some for us. <laughs> oh, hi. Pero it's so hard to, ano eh, so hard to let go of the talent that's available. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, ano nga eh, so at least we can hmm. stretch pa din how, while waiting for, for Gab. Oh. Ako rin kanina, when you pick Save Lucero, parang kasama, ano siya, ang tagal ko inisip ko, ilalagay ko pa siya sa, sa pang third round ko, sa fourth. Kasi, uh, alam mo yun, parang pinipigilan ko rin yung sarili ko na just thinking about how this season went for them. Na parang ako, first season pa lang niya, alam mo yun, baka, I'm trying to talk my way out of picking him. So, I, I can feel you. I can feel you. <laughs> In nga eh. I just can't help but to pick the guys from this. Ano, kasi ang galing nilang lahat eh. And I guess oh, to Gab's oh. point, sorry na lang sa UP ha, pero wala masyadong magaling in past season. Eh. Sobrang ang hirap eh. Totoo na. Mm, okay. Ah, God. Go with your gut. Alam ko na, mag-Richie Rivero ka sa... Feeling ko hindi namin pipiliin ni Gabby. <laughs> Kyle and Zave. Oo nga eh. Actually, actually, para sa akin, si Richie na yung pinakamagaling na naiiwan eh. I was... So, oh. natetempt din akong kunin si Richie eh. Pero... Pero grabe, wala pa lang sa spacing. Hindi ko pa magkaka-problem nun. Carl, Zave, Richie. I mean, yes, that... Feeling ko that's too big. The length is okay. Positionless kami, positionless kami. Fine. He'll kill all the passing lanes. Pero ang laki nun, no? Carl Zave Ritchie. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, siguro dahil lang mas, mas gustong gusto ko talaga yung player na to. I'll just... Anyway, back-to-back picks naman ako. Oh, yes, so, yes. So, for actually, my third round... Um, ah, nahirapan talaga ako. Oh, ah. For my third yeah. round pick, uh, I'll, I'll have, because kayong dalawa picked like really good guards. Yes. Um, and yes. I didn't expect you to pick them 
ahead. Early? I was actually hoping early. Kunyari, I was hoping June Manzo would have mm. been available for me in the fourth round. Eh, para yeah. may solid yeah. point guard ako eh. Uh-huh. So since ano pinili na ni Gab, I guess I'll have to pick a point guard then na solid bago ako mawalan. So, you know, tapos kinuha mo si Jet. So, I think I'm gonna go with uh, JD Kagulangan JD. as my third yeah. round pick. So, yeah, para merong pick, point guard, solid point guard, not afraid to mm-hmm. um play in high pressure situations. Obviously, took that game-winning three to seal the championship for mm-hmm, UP. So, mm-hmm. um, one season pa lang with UP, but in that one season, like, literally won it for UP. So, yeah. um, I, I think we can all say na this guy is really good. So, that's my third round pick. I think that's a good part. I go, go, go. To... I think that's a good partner then to Carl. Parang feeling ko if Carl is having a bad game, an off night. Oh, an off night. The two guys that you have, they can go off at any time. Eh. We've seen Zave in the first round, de right? First four, hindi mo first four games. But there were four games in the first round. The yung player of the game. He's been posting up double doubles. Tapos minsan nagte take over din siya ng third or fourth quarter. So. Even with the recency bias, um, I don't mind it. I think so far, good picks. Pa rin. Okay, so we have Gab. Hey. Hello, welcome Sorry. back. Welcome Gab. back. Um, so, so Wait. to recap lang, kakapit ko pa lang ng third round pick ko, JD Kagulangan. Um, oh, yeah. so, the pressure siya na, na kumuha na daw tayo ng good guards. So I had to pick JD. JD. <laughs> so, uh, so, yung saan ako nag-stop? Yung nakuha ba yung Kobe para sa pick ko? Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, namin oh, okay. So, okay. So, ako na, fourth round, to start the fourth round. So, pero usapan namin na I'm tempted to pick Richie. I feel like he's the most talented. Pero with my team right now, Carl, Zave, JD, um... I need another guard or guard forward. Um, I'm looking at like a. I have two picks, eh, pero. Hmm. I think I am going to go with the shooter. Namaste. I'm going to pick CJ Cancino over Richie kasi I I just want like a parang Richie's too much of a scorer for my team I'm gonna pick CJ para mas um doesn't need the ball as much uh super solid three point shooter you can see what he can do when he's like what 70% healthy he can shoot like four threes in a game so sa akin kahit mag spot up lang siya puro three point shot that's fine with me. I'm going with CJ for my fourth picks. Pwede, pwede. Kodi, so ang, I'm just rebuilding the championship si team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coach Gold. Wait, wait, wait. You pick Carl Zave. Uh, uh, Carl Zave. Zay- and CJ. <laughs> eh, wala. Kinuha niyo lahat ng mga... Kinuha niyo yung mga non, non-championship non team players ko eh. Si Jun Manzo. So, gusto mo kopyahin na lang yung nasa likod ng shirt ko. <laughs> pa- pa- patingin nga, patingin nga, patingin nga. <laughs> wow, oh my God. Oh, that's the arrow. Wow, okay. We, hindi, the, the thing behind the back, the player list. The lineup, yeah. the lineup. The player of list. The, uh, player list. I have that as well Oy, for sige. the five feet. Team. For Ateneo, di ba? Okay. Uh, Okay, Gab, okay. ikaw, next. Okay. Wait lang. Uh, if I don't want to agree, I have to switch laptops. Eh. Uh, <laughs> so, for my pick. My pick. Okay, okay. See, see. I know who I'm picking now. So, for my pick. Uh, so, just to recap, I have Malik. I have Kobe. Oh, as I, 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 I didn't know if you can, if you, if you caught this in when I extended the stream. Uh, so I said, I think 
Kobe could play the four, you know, could play the four or, or the three, and he's a very good rim protector, especially in a small UAAP. So I think he can play that. So for my, uh, what is this? My fourth pick in this UP draft, I'm going to go with the, the Ateneo killer, James Spencer. Uh, Gila, yeah, uh, Co- oh, Gila, uh, yes. the most recent Gilas call up, James. We called Spencer. it. We called it. James Spencer. So, uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, he can shoot. He's a terrific defender. He shut down David Defonso in the finals. Uh, and as we saw, he's going to play a role. He, he does not need the ball in his hand. He's going to hustle. Uh, I see he's gonna contribute, and as seen by his recent Gilas call up, he's uh, he's way more talented, I think, than other guards in this uh, list. Uh, no, you, no offense, and I think he's a very terrific defender. So I think my defense in this starting five is gonna be so solid. So. Uh, I obviously want to win this draft, so I'm gonna go with James Spencer. <laughs> okay, good pick, Dale. Sha, sha, actually, okay. pinipili ko anina Spencer or Cancino. I decided to pick Cancino na lang. Go, go ahead, Dale. Okay, so looking at my, in fairness, wala pa akong players from the from the championship team. I have Bright One and Jet. Um, Okay. Feeling ko wala na naman masyadong ano. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko wala na naman masyadong fans. Wait! Wait! Nag-contribu kayo. Magkano? 200k? 200k? 200. I think 210. 210. Oh, 210! Okay. Oh, but I'll, okay. I'll also say next week. Feeling ko kung maglalaban sila ni Richie ng the nations for the UP community. May chance din lumaban tong next pick ko sa, sa shots niya. And I'll go for a throwback pick. This is for the UP community. I'm picking Martin Reyes. Ah! Whoa! Ah. Okay. 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 It's a surprise. Okay, so again, I think another surprise pick. Um, just basing on, off of your reactions. Pero yep. we've talked about this also, di ba? Yes. Martin Reyes yes. can shoot the lights out. So, um, given smart um, playmakers in the team, I think he'll have enough space. Um, yun lang, very basic one. Ang hirap kumuha ng stats for him, honestly. But yeah, um, yeah. if you've so seen... So based off memory lang. Uh, exactly, exactly. Based off memory, if you've seen him play, even in the losing seasons, may splashes of brilliance talaga si Martin Reyes. So I'm picking him to go with one jet and bright. Wow. Si Dave pa lang nag... Ano, ay, si Dale pa lang nag... Ano, Nag-reach. Nag-reach sa ano, deep... <laughs> Deep oh, into the ano, UAAP seasons. Sineryoso ko talaga yung all-time, ano, well, hindi ba all-time, pero at least mga a decade worth of UP fighting. <laughs> sinulit ko, sinulit ko yung listahan. <laughs> okay. Sige, ikaw uh, ulit. Ay, I'll... sorry, recap muna tayo. Yeah, oh, we, we recap muna. Show the screen. Okay, yeah, sige. So, um, okay. Just... so after four rounds to, no, you'll be seeing yeah, yeah, yeah. sino na lang ang natitira on the board. Please make sure to leave a hey, comment, recap. guys. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so after four rounds, we have four players. Dale, uh, Bright, uh, one GDL, Jet Manuel, and Martin Reyes. Si Gab, uh, Malik Diouf, uh, Manzo, Paras, and Spencer. And then I have Tamayo, Lucero, uh, Kagulangan, and Cancino. Okay, so four players, four more to go. Halfway through na tayo. Okay. Great. So again, if anyone is watching us, leave us a comment if you th- if you agree or disagree with any of our picks in any of the rounds. Or if you think meron kaming dapat isa- isinama pa, send us amin yung research nyo. <laughs> Dadagdag namin sa, sa list yan. <laughs> Nasaan si Mark? Kaya, 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 K
<laughs> oh, anong season nga ba siya? Like, season 69 uh, was, na ba siya? Or now he was 67 pa nga eh. Uh, oh, he was wow. there after the 2002 championship ng ano niya. Mm-hmm. He was there when the game I was talking about in our pod, uh, mm-hmm. 2004, when you beat Ateneo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was there, he was there. <clears throat> so, Dale, your okay. fifth round, fifth pick. Parang wala pa rin kukuha kay Richie, no? Anyway, wala, 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 wala pa rin kukuha kay Richie. Oo, kunin mo na si Richie. <laughs> Bakit ba? Kawanin niyo siya. Kung gusto niyo. Pilip na pilip eh, no? Uh, okay. Feeling ko kailangan ko rin ng defense and spot-up shooter. Kaya lang kasi nakuha na si Spencer, eh. Uh, okay. Sab- Ichichika ko muna yung hindi ko kukuhanin. Okay lang ba yun? Para may... <laughs> Or well, almost is Richie. Richie. No, no, no. I wanted to pick JD Tungkab. Ah. But because of our ruling na yung UP playing season niya, hindi kasi siya masyado talagang nakalaro eh. So hindi ako sobrang confident. Doon sa... It was a stupid decision by Bo. I, I think it's the mm-hmm. yeah. thing we should have yeah. played JD. Now. Diba? And nakita yeah. natin siya sa Gilas Pool. Diba? Um, he could have been given a more uh, ano, defensive specialist type of role talaga. Because um, mm-hmm. that's where he shines, diba? So, ayun lang. Easy pick sana to na si JD itong ka, but because of that ruling, um, I'll go with Javi GDL. Crap. For my next pick. Yes, uh, yeah. I love and that. I play. love that guy. I yeah. love that guy. So honestly, much. I um, honestly like if I think about it, I love Javi more than one. Um, maybe because I too. also played a, I played a forward position. So position. Parang, sobrang I love his game. Anyway, sorry, Dale, you were saying. Yeah, I think um, this guy obviously parang nasa listahan yun rin siya. The effort is of this guy sobra ibang klase and his improvement also nakita na if he's committed to it diba talagang he improved on his i think third playing year um and he bought up he improved his his stamina and games kaya niyang mag um take over and really put up shots and i think defensively he'll also be a good addition uh to my team so far so and plus the the gdl connection i have one in my team why not get the other one <laughs> so i'll go with have parang ano yan eh parang sa mga video games parang pag magkasama sila may bonus stats may uh, bonus combo stats ganun yes um, yes yeah and shooting he improved his three point yeah. shooting kasi lalo na nung um dumating yung ibang star si Narechi mm-hmm. he ended up becoming like a spot up stretch big um, yeah. and he made some shots mm-hmm. um, imagine mo pag end games be... yeah, 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 yeah so imagine mo pag end games and close close game sa floor ko i have one i have martin reyes i have Javi. Jet will do the the right play and may, maybe pass it to Juan or to Bright. Parang I have all the options. So, super happy that he's available at this round. So, I went with, with, with Javi. All right. To be fair kay Javi then like, he always ends up guarding like the best player of the team. Like, pag Ateneo kalaban, si 30 yung binabantayan niya. So, it's yeah, not an and... easy task to do, no? Yep. I think he wants it also. He, mm-hmm. he yeah. wants the hardest assignment. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Good yes. pick. Kudos to Abby. Yeah, and same case, Sam. I like him better than Juan. Uh, yun nga. As I, as I said earlier, when Juan was picked, uh, when the ball is not in his hands, he sort of uh, uh, lets it go. Uh, Abby does not let it go. He plays hard uh, for 40 minutes in the episode of So that's why I love him. And he's an excellent shooter. Improve the shooting. So that's a testament to how hard it works. Okay, so my fifth pick. I'm actually having a hard time. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with 
a fellow starter or someone to come off the bench. Uh, okay, okay. See, 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 see. Uh, so can you can I say my runner up? Okay, so my, so my runner, sure, sure. So my runner up for this position was actually Atento. Oh, nga, no? Available pa siya. Paul Desiderio. But, uh, considering the makeup of my team, again, he, he's another guy who needs the ball in his hands. I think that was a test in, in his last play here with UP. When he was playing with June Manzo, who needs the ball in his hands, Kobe, you who needs to score, Paul Desiderio actually does a little bit of nothing <laughs> when he's alongside those players. So I'm going to go with a guy who does not need the ball in his hands. And the guy who I'm very impressed with is going to be Harold Alarcon. Nice. Good pick. Yeah, I, I you know. So I, this guy played himself into the UP rotation this past season. I think he showed a lot of maturity. He works hard on defense. And again, I, this guy does not need the bonus hand. And, 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 you, and he can shoot. He can shoot. Uh, not as well as other players, but I think he can shoot and uh, he can improve. And again, this guy does the important thing, he does not need to handle the ball because I have enough ball handlers on my team. All right. Harold Alarcon. Yeah. Right and future for this see, guy. See, Harold, that's top scorer for the three on three team. No? I mean, ah, like, eh? basing it off that performance. Oh, Sean, top scorer. Uh, I was expecting yes, yes. Jerry Abadiano to top score, but si Harold is the most star. So I also really like this guy. Um, that's a good pick. No? So. If I didn't get JD, I would have picked him. Um, yeah, good pick. But um, that means I'm, I'm, I get the next two picks, and I'm very happy uh, that you, the two of you, ended up uh, not getting these guys. Although to be fair, I was really planning on picking Javi GDL for this pick. I wanted him to come off my bench, sana. Um, but okay, lang. I I have a backup. So for my ano to, fifth pick to round. To finish my uh, starting five, uh, Dale mentioned him already. Um, I the reason why I didn't get Spencer, I picked CJ because I felt like he was a better three point shooter. And um, if I wouldn't get Spencer, which I expected, na I could always pick JD Tongkab. So I'm picking JD Tongkab. Uh, Dale mentioned him already. Um, alam ko hindi siya masyado nakalaro sa UP especially nung last few years niya when Sinarichi and Kobe were there I think pero he had some moments with UP um, what I really love about JD is he's long he's athletic he he's really a good defensive player and a great ball handler um, even in UP like this guy can handle the ball like pwede niyang ibaba yung bola he can alternate with uh, JD Kagulangan. Um, he can help him with that. And I think he had an improved three-point shot at the end of his career. Um, because nga, I think uh, he was forced to do that uh, because he ended up becoming more like a 3 and D guy. Um, didn't get the ball that much. So really ha- happy to have him. I have JD. I have Carl. Um, CJ can also score. Uh, JD Kagulangan, I have Carl. CJ can also score. So I wanted to get like a more of a role player, three and D guy that can sort of like handle the ball. So parang siya yung ano ko, Andre Igudala type player ko dun sa, sa team. Um, okay, so for my sixth pick, uh, <laughs> Gab, I love this pick um, because. Because Patay. I ended up wow! going because I ended up going small ball because I ended up going small ball. Uh, I for my sixth man or my guy off the bench, I'm going to pick Raul Soyud <laughs> as my sixth pick because um pang pang back up. <laughs> Kung masyadong nahirapan si Carl or napapagod, I wanna go big. I could play Soyud, Carl, and Zave at the same time. Um, no problem kasi Raul can also stretch the floor. May pachamba-chamba siyang three-point shot nung nasa UP pa siya, but he improved on it nung PBA siya. Um, really strong Our. inside. Um, 
yeah, traditional, medyo may traditional big pero ang ganda ng mid-range niya. I think sa UK, ganda ng mid-range, mid-range excellent solid. post moves, underrated super underrated. So, he's a so, he's sneaky athletic. He's sneaky athletic, husky. this guy. Husky. Yeah, he's husky, um, but he can move, yeah. he can jump. I love that. Para, Fuck para you. Si pumili, oh. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you, Sam. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. Sabi ko na, so, akala ko, pipick mo na siya eh. Kinabahan ako eh. So, happy no, I was hoping na, Sam will not go that far. Oh, oh. Yeah, I did. Ah. I did, boy. I did. So, happy with this pick. I can go, you know, really big or really, like, athletic. Um, Yeah, Raul saw you. Six pick. Six pick. You're welcome, Gab. Ah! Ina. Oh, anyway. So, that was supposed to be my next pick. But, uh, damn, I, I gotta reach now. I gotta reach. No, hindi naman, hindi naman. Okay, okay. Sige, sige. I, I, I know what I'm picking now. I... I gotta show some love to this boy, even though we all hate him. Richard Ferro! He's too talented. I, just, I can't yeah, believe he's still talented. here. That's a I, can't, I can't believe he's still here in the sixth round. We Finally! All, we all obviously don't like him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think there's enough. Uh, same, same with Kobe and Richie. They're too talented. So, I'm so if I'm the coach of this team, I'm planning to bring Richie off the bench because as history has shown and I think as evidenced uh, by his playing style, he cannot play with Kobe Varas on the floor. You know, he's so he's very ineffective with Kobe Varas before. But to his credit, uh, this passing has shown that he can play with an assistant. He, he he can uh, play uh, tough defense, uh, and I played against this guy uh, in some pickup games. He's skinny, but he's he's strong. This guy is strong. Uh, so yeah, uh, Richie Rivero. He he's improved as a, as a shooter as well. So I think coming off the bench as a six man will be the perfect uh, position for him. Uh, to whenever co- I think if you're a smart coach, not Bo per the soul, uh, uh, you will stagger the young these two players uh, on the court. So with Kobe's not on the court, you can bring in Richie Rivero off the court. All right. So for my sixth pick, Richie Rivero, I think this is a steal. I think this is a steal. <laughs> no, one, no, one get, no one wants to get Richie. Layu nya, grabe. Okay, go, Dale. Okay. Kasi wala nang pressure for me, ha, to pick Richie. Okay na siya. <laughs> <laughs> grabe. Feeling ko mababash tong video na to. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, okay. Bago tayo, bago tayo, tayo mabash. Sa comment section na. <laughs> Oy! Time on. Bago tayo mabash, gusto ko pick si Richie, pero kasi puro championship team na rin players ko. So, I wanted to pick Actually. people outside of that team then So, I had to go with JD and so yun. So, I wanted to pick him. He's too talented to be to not be picked in the fifth round in the starting five, pero wala, puro championship team. So, sorry Richie. But he was picked naman. Hindi naman natin tinapos yung episode na hindi siya na-pick. Okay. Come to think of it, I think I could have picked Richie at 7 because they will not pick Richie. Yeah, exactly. Oh, damn it! Oh! Strategy. Oh, nga, no? Oh, nga, no? Hey, even ah, with my it. next two picks. Oh, that was wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay, okay. Are we showing the list now or in after? Oh. After your first pick. After your okay, pick. Okay. After your pick. Okay. So, uh, just looking at my lineup, parang wala pa masyadong big man. And then looking at our list, parang nauubos na rin ang ating big man. So, I'll base this off of a few games probably na nang panood ko siya and na naaalala ko. You guys remember uh, Maggie Season? Maggie? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Niya? 
Maggie, Maggie season. season. Maggie, Maggie season. season. Okay. Maggie season, yeah. I remember. I need a banger in my team. I need someone who will um who will clean up the rebounds. Katulong ni ni Bright and ni Javi. So I'm comfortable picking him for uh, to come off the bench and to help out with that in that department. Feeling ko naman hindi pa ako mauubusan ng other forwards sa next few rounds natin. So I'll go with Maggie. I'm not sure if a lot of our viewers would uh, have seen him play before. Again, sobrang losing seasons nung panahon wow. ni Maggie season. And I think mga powerhouse dito, syempre Ateneo and then Lasal. Uh, yes, Lasal also in, during their um, time. Adamson also, naabutan ba niya si Ken Bono? Or hindi? Oh, uh, parang hindi na ata. Hindi na ata. Masyado mo matanda si Ken. <laughs> Shout out to the OG big boy. Uh, Oo, oh, diba? OG big boy. Pero yun, ganun, na, ganun katanda itong um, pick na to. Hopefully, uh, our viewers can look him up and see if there are any highlights. But um, I need a big man. I need a big man in my team. So I'll go with Frankie. Okay, so, so to recap, our first six rounds. So Sam, I think you have the uh, Okay. Okay, recap. Recap of the teams. So for Dale, it's Bright, one GDL, Jet, Martin Reyes, Javi GDL, so GDL bros kay na kay Dale, and Maggie Season, Gab, Malik, Manzo, Paras, Spencer, Alarcon, and Rivero. So re- reunited si Paras and Rivero. Um, and then for me, it's uh, Tamayo, Lucero, Kagulangan, Cansino, Tungkab, and Soyud. So for... Okay players out of the championship team. Yeah. So far, ang may pinakamaraming sponsorships dyan, yung team ni Gab. Of course! <laughs> oh, may Spencer H&M, ka, may Kobe. May Spencer, Kobe. may Kobe, may Rivera. Ano okay, ito? Uh, master si Kobe, right? Uh, master Facial H&M Washington. Then. Uy, H&M, H&M then. H&M, H&M. Kobe. The international, baby! And, Pepsi, uh, <laughs> si Richie, ang dami. Si Richie Rivero. James Manalo Spencer is going to get some... Uh, yung James Spencer is sure to get some sponsorships there. For sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. Alright. Right. na si Gab sa TikTok tsaka sa IG. <laughs> Oo nga. Si G- team ni Gab may pinakamalaking social media cloud. Okay, sige. <laughs> Dale. Uh, Left mid in the sixth round. round? <laughs> Grabe. Grabe. Okay. The, the, ano eh, the disrespect. Hindi <laughs> naman, oh. sobrang loaded daw kasi sa, ng ano, ng UP list. So, <laughs> so, naiwan siya. Okay. For my next pick, so as mentioned kanina, kulang ako ng mga wings din. And, again, I'll go throwback for this, for this pick. And, I'll also feeling ko mapapak ko nga lahat ng naging Rookie of the Year ng UP Fighting Maroons. I'm not sure if kilala nyo yung kukunin ko. Rookie of the Year of Season 69, Woody ko. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. Ah! I'm trying to get him. Oh! Sorry. Okay. So, this guy also... Sabi ko na nga mo tapos si Nevin Tron ko na lang si Richie. Uh, Oo oh, nga, dapat kinuha mo na si Woody, no? Tapos kinuha mo na si Richie. Kasi honestly, Gap, kung kunwari, kinuha mo si kinuha mo na si Woody, mawawalan na ako ng choice. Talagang magre-Richie ako. Eh, pero wala pa rin kumukuha kay Woody ko, ma man So, uh, may rookie of the year ba si Woody ko? Yeah, yeah. Season, season 69. Wow. Okay. Yes. So, yun nga, eh, parang lahat ng ROI... I, ROY, sorry, sorry. So, I, I guess from that reaction, um, people, our viewers would kind of have an idea that Woody is Woody was a great player no time he was a stretch, uh, stretch, stretch, uh, stretch big, stretch big. Yes, yeah, stretch goal. big. Um, he, again, as mentioned, hindi siya masyadong um, scorer, hindi siya top scorer, obviously, but I think um, with his size, he'll be able to defend 
different positions as well. He's not that I don't I don't remember him being slow um for his size nung nung panahon niya. And just looking at my lineup so far, the the veteran leadership is there, diba? I have Jet Manuel, I have Woody, I have Martin Reyes. These guys who will be calm down the stretch and um I don't think they'll be rattled at all. So happy that I still got him in this round. Ah. Ah. Um, feel ko feel ko si Dale naman ano eh. Yung si ano ba to? Si Gab mga sponsorships yung habol si Dale lang gusto niya yung mga ano eh, mga honor student kasi di ba yung mga Woody ko and Jet Manuel yan yung mga super talino. Matatalino. Uh, savior boys from from Savior na nag UP. <laughs> Ah, damn it. Okay, okay. Sige, sige. For my uh, seventh pick in the UP Fantasy Draft, I'm gonna go with... Uh, okay, Mix the Asses. Mix the Asses. I think you've all heard me. Wow, good. Good pick. Out out. So much praise for this guy. Because uh, I saw this guy in person many times in high school when he was playing for De La Salzobel and in college when he was playing for UP. This guy is a dead eye shooter. I think you can you can you can insert them in the game, and he'll just splash away some threes. Uh, not much of a defender. He's a bit chunky, but uh, uh, and, and he's a bit slow. So I think he'll get taken advantage of. But I think if you play him al- alongside guys like June Manzo, Kobe Paras, Richie, I don't I, I don't think he'll be as exposed and. With a center like Malik Juf, I think I'm in good position. I, I think Mix the Asses' flaws can be uh, you can be hidden. Uh, this is a, an example of one guy who has an elite skill. One elite skill, although he's not that particularly good with other aspects of the game, but he has one elite skill, which I think is pretty valuable in this day and age. Yeah. In the UAB, I can't believe we're saying in the UAB only because the team plays the last time. <laughs> Adapted the style of play, but I think yeah, mix the asses, mix the asses. Well. Love this guy, and and he has balls too. He has many clutch shots. Uh, I don't know if they anyone would remember his clutch shots with UP, but yeah, this guy uh, has no fear in taking the the last shot. Shooter, probably the yeah. best shooter left in the no, in the draft. Yeah. I would say. No, I think he's he's the best shooter in. Uh, who's ever put on a fighting maroon jersey? Uh, I don't know if, that, if that's a hot well, take. Well, one of the anyone, best. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know if that, that's hot take, but I think he's the best. I mean, if, yeah. if you, you watch the play, that. you watch yeah. the play. He's amazing. He's, a, he's an amazing shooter. Yeah, good pick. Um, sayang. I want born in the wrong time. Better. I think. Yeah. 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 Siguro around. nga, siguro nga gab, kaya siya magiging hot take only because people would say, hindi naman sila masyadong nanalo. What are you talking about na clutch or na lights out siya or whatever. Pero, di ba, kasi the context nga is losing seasons halos lahat. So, hindi mo talaga makikita yung, um, I guess, yung brilliance or yung skills ng players from those teams. And, and I, I, I think, know. ano, during, I, I think during those times, Baka it's the three point shot wasn't as popular as it is today, diba? Like nung time na yun, medyo people were still focused on big men height, yeah. um, yeah. pounding the ball inside. Um, it was definitely underappreciated. Pero mix the asses and Martin Reyes, those were like super deadly three point shooters. Yeah, it time, is. Yeah, like, scary. Um, sige, I think I think for me, if we're like ending with like eight. That means I would be left with my last two players. Um, I have to pick my last two players. Um, I'm just gonna go with talent. Uh, for me, like probably like the most best available know, player. Best available player, at least on like based on my um assessment. So, oh my god, I'm 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 going with uh Mr. Atinto Paul Desiderio. Ah, uh, I know it. I know it. Okay, okay. I feel like he's the best available player. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Dun sa natitirang list of players. 
I think so. I uh, maybe I can fight for one more. Pero oh, nasa list ko na rin naman ang last two si si Paul Z. Okay, okay. Oh. Sige. So, um, Paul Desiderio, sh- shout out to him. Prayers for him. He, I think he injured his ACL, yeah. di ba? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully, he recovers. Sobrang malas. Two days, three days before the um, the start of the season. Would have wanted to see him play in the PBA and, you know, get some more minutes. Sayang, malas. Hope he fully recovers. This um, is how we know that we're really thinking about the basketball and the on-court uh, product of, the, of our team. Because if we were going by nostalgia, we, someone would have picked Paul Desiderio in the early rounds. And he's here in the seventh. <laughs> yes, hindi tayo masyadong nagbolahan dito. Competitive tayo sa lineup uh, natin. Competitive. Oo oh, nga eh. I mean, sa akin, I, if Paul Desiderio is coming off my bench, solid yun. Like... I have a scorer of my bench. Uh, ito, ano, I have like a practical pick. Um, I'm looking at my lineup now kasi. So may backup big na ako, may backup uh, guard, shooting guard na ako. So I'm looking at like a backup forward um, to come off the bench. So may practical pick ako. But I think I'm just gonna go with the most fun pick, the most exciting pick. Gusto kong fun and exciting din yung team ko. So I, I'm gonna go with Chicago Mike Silungan. Ah, uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> for fun lang. Kasi those were fun times. Those were fun times in UP. Uh, ah. I hate it. They were they sucked. They weren't that good. Pero Mike just threw three point shots. Um, yun lang ginagawa nila. Uh, um, yun he couldn't really impact the team as much. Pero I always loved watching Mike uh, throw a bunch of three point shots. Uh, minsan mintis lahat, minsan pasok lahat. So. I think that's a solid backup for me. Like, Raul, so you'd pull Desiderio and Mike Silungan off the bench. Parang at yeah. least my backup center, backup forward, and guard. Though. So that's it for me. Shit, Sai. You're welcome, Dave. You think we should go 10? We should go 10. 9-9. Pwede na. Tingnan Try natin extra round. Ah, fuck. Okay. Anyway. Okay, sige. My eighth pick in this UP Fantasy Draft. Again, this is a guy uh, that I saw personally and I saw how good he was. I'm going to go with Joseph Marata. Uh, again, this guy is a shooter. Good pick. I think he was MVP in the juniors division. Yeah. Uh, Playing alongside our batchmate Sam's Joel Tolentino, yeah. So Joseph Marata, he played for Las, went to Lasal, went back to UP. Uh, th- this guy is a scorer. He's long. You think he was around six three, six four, uh, and could shoot lights out as well. Uh, love this guy. Watched him play. Uh, I think it'll be a good addition. Again, this is a nostalgia pick for me. Okay, so we're in the last few rounds of us. So I'm gonna go with a nostalgia pick. I, uh, I'm a fan of this guy. I, 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 I don't know what happened to him though. Ano uh, did, 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 did um, like... I'm, I'm, I'm checking him now. Uh, na draft naman ata siya sa PBA. Meron na ng nakitang photos of him na naka San Miguel jersey. Um, former f- professional basketball player, so I guess wala na siya. Um, Pero mas maganda yung numbers last niya sa played Lasal. For... Uh, sakto lang. Okay. I think he was okay din sa UP. Pero yeah, baka nga mas maganda numbers niya sa Lasal. Not sure. Kasi ang ikli lang, Actually, I was... one season lang siya sa UP. Yeah, because one he played long, most of his career. Oh, one long. Oh. He, he played most of his career with La Salle. With La Salle. Well, okay, okay. Uh, and then he dropped off the rotation ng La Salle? Uh, I'm not sure. No, he was in the rotation. I just think, I don't know, maybe he 
who wanted more touches. You okay. remember okay. more playing uh, time. He wanted to be if, a star any, if anyone could remember, this was a time when Lasal was recruiting so many players that uh, their strategy was basically recruit everyone so that, <laughs> so, so that, so that the, uh, the other teams will not get the other teams couldn't get them. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. they had a lot of talent on their team, so my major na overshadow na yung na yung nairapan nito yung for minutes. Yeah, but good, good pick. Actually, she pinipili ko either she or si Mike Sidungan. I feel like Marata is more all around, um, more balanced. Mas masaya lang panorin si Mike. So <laughs> I pick Mike. I'll go Mike. That's true. Hey, okay. Okay, Dale, yeah, reach. Uh, Okay, my pick. Tama ba? We'll have one more. So I'll have yeah, that. Yung... I don't, I, I don't know. Gusto niyo pa ba? Mag other round? O okay na tayo with eight? No, nine, 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 nine. So magbabak-to-back picks na ako. Magbabak-to-back ka. Okay. Nice. Perfect. So, even if nakuha si Mike Silungan with, obviously, with my reaction, nasa listahan ko siya, I had to bump up some of my guys. Um, for my last two picks, pagsasabayin ko na, since I need both a backup guard and I still want a backup na big man. Either kaya mag-center or kaya mag-wing. So, I'll pick Jego Dario. I think this will be a good um, good backup. Come off the bench either for Juan or for Jet Manuel. I don't think there's such a big drop-off, honestly. Um Ganda ng pa- magaling magpasa si Diego Dario. Um, I'm really a big believer in, in this kid. So, I like him for my team. And then, for my final pick, kuhanin ko si J.R. Galliarza. Ooh! Oh, yeah! Yes! Really. yes. Um, uh, si Mr. Not, 014! Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, so really. he, he played in those 014 games, I remember. Yep. Yep. So, ayun nga. But, um, J.R. Galliarza, at least from what I remember from him, not as flashy, pero masipag to sa post. Sa, sa post eh. Masipag naman siya mag-rebound. Masipag siya mag- um, uh, what they call this? Go coast to coast kung kailangan. Um, I'm not too um, confident in his passing, but the shooting is there for Galliarza. And I think it would a good round up uh, for I already have Bright, I already have Maggi, so wala masyadong uh, pressure for Galliarza um, if he comes off the comes off the bench and just helps out those guys. So that will round up my UP team. I think later on we'll see the full list for everyone. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with those last two picks. Jago and JR. Okay, okay. JR Galliard. Yeah, he's she's the guy with the headband. Yes, the headband uh, guy. The headband. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, team captain to nung, nung panahon. Yeah. Hard worker. Hard worker. Yeah, hard worker. Very hard worker. Okay, so for my last pick in this draft. So I'm looking at my team right now and uh kind of full of wings, shooting, I think I have enough. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at my center, Manik Juf. He played 40 minutes in the finals. I think he can play 40 minutes in yung, in my team. <laughs> Oo nga, <laughs> wala ka pang backup ata ni ano, Malik. You really went all in on him. Yeah! Uh, well, may, may Kobe naman siya eh. Kobe yeah, siya. well, you, that's true. Yeah, but um, to that point, I am gonna go with a big man. And uh, I love my big boys. I'm gonna go with Jello Fito. Mm. Nice. Yeah. nice, 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 Mister Mister Three Point Shot. Yan. Yes, yeah. yes. This is a stretch big. I think he can yes. play against alongside... Ateneo, de ba? Yeah, oh. he can play al- al- alongside Balik Juf. And, Sniper. Uh, he's not that athletic, to be honest. Bagal <laughs> uh, but... nga. He's in the mold of uh, he's in the mold of Budiko and Raul Soyan. I think yes, they're correct. 
very similar players and they're all excellent shooters. Uh, more range. I think Jello Vito has more range than Raul Soyot and has just as much range as Woodico. But I think he's taller than Woodico. And, and fun fact, I, I, I saw Jello Vito play as a kid, as a little boy, when he was still in Lasal Green Hills. Yeah, true. And he was a, a big kid. I think uh, when, you know, I was part of the Blue Babble College, so me and my Canada, dad, Trump. yeah, I, I, I would see this. So when we saw him in UP, we were like, you, me and my dad, we were like, oh, this is the guy from Lasal. Vito, the same name, Jello Vito, and he's big. Jello Vito. Shout out to Jello Vito. Sam, your last pick. Parang gusto ko mag-10 na. Oh, it's a great goal. Cool. Let's go. Cool. I'm game. I'm game. I'm, 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 yes, I'm coming to playing players. Wow. Kala ko siya. Game, game ba yun? Game, game. Oh, sure, sure. Ikaw naman yung may lakad din. Oo oh, nga. Oo oh, nga, no? Oo oh, nga, no? Sige. Uh, anyway, maybe doesn't need a lot of explanation rin. Pero, huh. Actually, hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. Siguro, I'll just go with... Magte-10 tayo, di ba? Uh, yeah, let's go 10. Let's go okay, 10. Okay, sige. Sige. Um, siguro, for my ninth pick, siguro I'm picking like a traditional guard, uh, more of a playmaking guard, steady playmaking card para lang meron akong backup. I really like this guy. Um, lalo na nung rookie year niya, I, fe- I felt like he was really good during his rookie year. Didn't get that much playing time later on. Um, so, sayang. Uh, I think this is more of a um, stretch pick. Pero I'm getting Henry Asilum. Um, oh! Uh, uh, steady point ah. guard. Steady point guard. Um, ten. <laughs> not a big name for UP, pero I mm. I really like his steady game lang. So I think um Desiderio is more of a shooting guard, so I don't mind getting Henry as a Lumas like my um extra point guard para if I want someone with steady hands. Um and then for my final pick, kung mag, dahil magte-10 tayo, I just want like a... Again, I want a fun team. Gusto ko masaya, um, energetic, you want a cheerleader. Fun I want um, a winning team. Um, and then, Gab, kasi nami-miss mo yung ano eh, chemistry and camaraderie. Important yun eh. And um, I'm going back to the championship team. I'm picking Noah Webb. Para meron akong cheerleader oh. of the best. Hindi ko kailangan mo lang ano. Hindi ko kailangan so, mo sponsorship. Tsaka solid, solid, yeah. solid forward siya. So, if I look at my, ano, my uh, backup five players, I have Soyud at center, Noah Webb at power forward, Silungan at small forward, Desiderio in Asilum at the guard position. So, I think balance lang. Um, plus, may leadership siya. He was the team captain of this year. So, I think yep. I, I'm happy with Noah Webb as my 10th pick, my last pick. Okay. Tsaka onting uh, pogi points for the team. Uh-oh. Ikaw na yung pumapangalawa sa sponsorships after kay Gab. Kasi you, you have Carl, you have Steve, Kumakan CJ yung daming fans, yun. CJ can see. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos may Noah Webb ka pa. Parang inubos Mike si Lungan. Marami din fans. Chicago yun. Mike. Marami fans yun. Ayan. Chicago Mike. So, so oh, yeah. Chicago Mike din tawag sa kanya. Kasi yung kwento daw sa UB, like, parang nung introduce yourself. Ganyan, oh, we have a new student. Introduce yourself. So, parang sabi niya, uh, I'm, my name is Mike Sulungan. I'm from Chicago. Ganyan. <laughs> so, Chicago Mike tawag sa kanya. <laughs> Alright, you? Good pick, good pick, Sam. Okay, okay, okay. Nasa listahan ko rin si Asilum. Kung haabot tayo ng ganito kahaba. No, wow. <laughs> Prepared? Okay, let's go. Henry Asilum, Noah Webb. Okay, alright, alright. For my last pick of this draft, 
uh, I'm gonna. So I think I have my for my bench. I think I could go with uh, five out, uh, four out with one uh, pick and pop player, Jello Vito. So I think I'm gonna need a point guard. And uh, gotta shout him out. I gotta get like a Homer pick. Uh, oh my god. Or, Homer pick, Mikey Reyes. Ah, oh, hey, yeah. Mikey Reyes. Oh, Mikey yeah. Reyes. Matchmate, matchmate. Oh, oh. Shout out to okay, matchmate. Matchmate, by the way. Matchmate natin. Uh, yeah, uh, more of a scoring guard. Yes. Uh, but yeah. I think he can distribute. I, you know, I think he can play. And uh, he was a, he spearheaded that, I know, that bonfire. That one win season. That one win. Against, I think it was against Adamson, right? Uh, Adamson, right? Uh, that, uh, yes, yes, yes. The championship game against Adamson. <laughs> I think he was a My he asterisk. Was the, he was a star player then. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the Homer pick. Shout out to uh, Mikey. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Mikey Reyes, my last pick for the season. Good draft. pick. I, I had to pick Henry Asilum over him because may desider yun na I was thinking player. of one other player, another Homer. But uh, I think ah, I alam ko na yun. <laughs> alam ko na yun. Okay. Sige, Dale, Dale. To close off the draft. Okay. I just realized so far, ako lang yung walang player from this championship team. Oh, ay. Masotsot ko pala t-shirt, hindi mo pala pipiliin. Oh, eh. ah, no. <laughs> As a UP fan, I think it follows also na ibalik naman natin yung mga names na baka medyo nalimutan na ng mga tao. I mean, That's this true. guy started it all for the UP community. So, and I mean, I'm happy with my picks din naman. So, okay. Last pick. I guess going off of my pattern na medyo kalmado yung mga guards ko and I don't think they will be rattled at all. Um, I was supposed to pick uh, Mikey Reyes also para may panggulo sana ako dun sa <laughs> energy guy. Energy guy of the bench, may panggulo. And then Mike Silungan also, I would have wanted to get him. Yung tipo, magic bunot. Pag kailangan mo ng one minute, two minutes ng offense, sige, pasok natin si Chicago. Yung kailangan mo ng sponsorships, Dale. Nga eh. Isang guy pa dyan. So, palaking sponsorship niya eh. Mga, you, you know who it is. <laughs> Sayang naman yung... May pang-uwi pa siya. What? Ay, oh, yeah! Oh my God, feeling ko kilala ko na yung tinutukoy mo. Oh my God! So, let's see. <laughs> okay, anyway, seryoso. I'll go with Mike Gamboa. I can't... Oh, I, can't, oh, I, can't oh, I can't believe... Oh, um, well, I guess, kung nag-stop talaga tayo sa original na uh, 8, I don't think makukuha si Mike G. Uh, but I'm glad that we extended because uh, I think he belongs in this, uh, you know, who's who of the, at least of the more recent UP Fighting Maroon team. Um, Mike Gamboa, very steady also back in his day. And I think would be a great, back up for my guards um and he also has shooting so yeah i think um solid solid siya na, na makakahelp kay juan and kay jet plus i have jago dario also yeah he's a nostalgia pick also i think for me and sam uh we yeah. watched him win you win a championship for uh our alma mater Ateneo. so yeah. So, diba, yeah, parang true. yung championship caliber, nando naman eh, even if the players that I that I got wala dito sa recent, winners to from their younger years. So, hopefully, kung kunwari, mag, diba, sila yung magsama-sama. Parang I'm trying to think of scenarios in my head na they'll all make the smart plays and they'll all gel together. They No big egos, no... Um, flashy players, um, so I think Mike G would round up the the team just as well, even if hindi ko na kuya yung first choices ko. Let's draft our coach, that's <laughs> okay. 
Oh, hey. Huwag ganun. Recap. <laughs> Ten rounds. Wow. Ten rounds. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Oh, oh. Recap. Okay, go ahead, sir. Recap, recap lang. Quick recap lang. So, for Dale, it's Bright, one GDL, Jet Manuel, Martin Reyes, Javi GDL, Maji Season, Woody Code, Diego Dario, JR Galliarza, and Mike Gamboa as her last pick. Gab, he has Malik Diof, Jun Manzo, Kobe Paras, Spencer, Alarcon, Richie, uh, Mix, The Assist, Joseph Marata, Sam Joseph Marata, Jello Vito, Mikey Reyes, so Ateneo Guards. Um, for me, Carl Tamayo, Zave Lucero, JD Kagulangan, CJ Cancino, JD Tongkab, Soyu, Desiderio, Silungan Asilum, and Noah Webb. Um, nice, that's nice. it for our picks. Anybody from the list na surprisingly hindi napili? Um, oh, I was gonna ask that you question. noticed. Um, maybe Dale, you can go first. Um, I I have two players. I thought. Sam, you'll pick Terence Fortea somewhere. Uh, you were so high on him, at least at the start of the season. No, I was him. high on him. I was. Uh, sigab, sigab yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. Uh-huh. So, ayun, I thought Terence Fortea, hindi sa earlier rounds, but I was a bit sure. I was confident na makukuha siya, so medyo dun ako nagulat. Yeah. And then, Will Gozum. Um, yeah. Will no, Gozum was uh, on my list. Well, it was on my list, but uh, again, our, our, for both of your uh, players, Dale, that, yung, that, yung, that you mentioned, first for Terence Fortea, I think uh, he's a potential pick. Ano yun? But, but okay, if we're okay. gonna, yeah. diba, uh, our rules were his current playing current. years, the current. years he played in UK, he only played one year, and he was a bit shaky. You know, he was not the player I thought that, uh, he was more of a scoring guard, you know, shooter. Uh, made <laughs> shot questionable shots to be honest. <laughs> so uh, didn't go with him despite my. Uh, I I think he still has a bright future. I think he can be mm-hmm. a pretty good player. Uh, and for Will Gozum, I think he he's sinayang siya ng UP to be honest. Sinayang siya. Yes, because he's mythical five right now in the NCAA. Sa Benil, Benil siya, de ba? Pinit ba or letran? Ay, so, hindi, hindi siya letran. Uh, Definitely not Letran. Okay, so but, I think but so. he's a, he's in the mythical five. So, uh, yun nga, I think sayang eh. And this guy's home if, if, if I'm not mistaken, right? He came from UPIS. Hindi. Uh, or... Mapuwa ata. Mapuwa ba? MVP okay. siya sa NCAA nung Ayun. high school. Yes. So, Junior's so, MVP siya ng NC. Tapos, so, tapos yeah, recruit siya. One of the top recruits ni Bo. So, with our rules that... Uh, you know, his time in the, in UPS uh, our barometer. It's a mahira pixie will go so because he didn't really do much. Totoo. Totoo. Yeah. Pero, yeah. Pero I had him in my list. For me, surprise! <laughs> I mentioned him earlier though, uh, if you want sponsorship. Andre Paras! Andre Paras. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 he's slow, but I think he's pretty skilled. He's pretty big as well. I mean, he, only, he, only, he only played one year, which is why it was hard to pick him. I mean, you're yeah. only getting one year. One year lang ba siya? Talaga? Yeah, one year. One year where he rode the bench for Ricky Dandan. And he left. Uh-huh. He, he pursued showbiz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he was out of shape kasi the whole time that he was in UP. So parang, alam mo yun, yung skill niya, parang natatabunan ng hindi siya makagalaw. So parang, I saw him okay. playing in the G, the G League. He, he's pretty skilled, you know. So, yeah, but that was in the G League. In UP, he, he barely saw the floor. So, mm-hmm. so it was hard to pick Andre Pala. But hey, if you want sponsorships, he has movies. <laughs> May Martin Reyes <laughs> naman ako, so baka pwede. Well, na. that's true. Speaking of Andre Paras, I read recently na nag leave na sh- leave of absence na siya sa Blackwater uh, to pursue... Um, to go back to his showbiz career. So, um, I guess must showbiz talaga si Andre. Yeah. Um, for me, surprising uh, non picks other than Terence Fortea, I think Jerry Abadiano. Um, he was still there. Uh, 
I guess same point as Gab. One year pa lang kasi siya inconsistent. So you're banking on the potential which is, you know, not part of the rules. Um others baka homer pick lang to Gab Paulo Romero for me. Uh yeah. and Martin Pascual. Martin Pascual. And, Mar- yeah. and Martin and Martin Pascual, pero I I I feel like just for me, si Paolo Romero is the more parang all-around forward that would do well in like this era also. So um, he was on my list, but had to prioritize other players. Um, parang yun lang naman for me. Ako rin, May ako mga yung... homer... Ah, go, 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 go. Ako meron pa. Si dalawa, actually. Si David Murel and Kyle Slau. Uh, yeah, Kyle Slau. Kyle Slau, oh, rookie of the year sure. din yan, di ba? Yeah. He's in the PBA right now. Rookie of the year yan? What the yeah, hell? He was. He was. He was, di ba? Again, he was. He didn't have anyone playing with him. He could score all he wanted. Uh, eventually, when uh, sina, I think, nabuta pa yan sina Desiderio and when Mikey Reyes came on, uh, he kind of took up a... Uh, Nawalan siyang minutes, no? No, he, he had minutes but he lost touches. So again, oh, this is the guy God. who needs the ball in his hand. He's, he's a scorer, he's a playmaker, he's a point guard. No surprise. And David Morel, uh, 6'4, uh, can jump, can athletic. jump. He just doesn't have, yeah, very athletic, uh, very limited offensively. But, uh, you know, as, as a defender, you, you talked about Javi wanting the tough matchups. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy wanted was assigned to the top 230. And I think his only year in UP, I think he only played one year. Uh, his only year in two, UP, yeah. yeah, one or two years. He was always assigned to guard Terry Davena. And you know, when you're assigned to guard Terry Davena, you must be pretty strong and athletic because Terry Davena is, uh, is a beast of a man. Yeah. So, <laughs> kind of part, eh. yeah, partners in the middle Partner sila ni Noah Webb in terms of big cheerleaders sa bench na panahon nila. Yeah, yeah. Ano to? Uh, maingay to sa bench. Um, si... Sa akin, shout out lang din kay Moriah Gingrich. Um, Coach Mo. Didn't really play that much. Si Coach Mo, pero uh, smart guy, um, good role player. And then si Ruena. Um, I forget his yeah. first name. Mark Ruena. Alam ko MVP yun nung high school. Uh, uh, Who's undersized? Long, or, yeah. He played long guard or like he he played big ata nung high school, di ba? Tapos he became like a guard nung college. Classmates ko silang dalawa, so I was a fan of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but we <laughs> shout <laughs> out. Oh, classmates ko sila sa I forget what GE that was, pero um sin sinuportan ko din sila, but yeah, top ten yeah. lang. So. Oh, uh, nice, nice. Shout out also to the long lost uh, ball brother, Matthew Ball. <laughs> Did not make it to the NBA. LaVar. <laughs> oh, so, so, anyone watching, please comment down below. It's like an hour and a half episode. I hope you stayed until the end to watch our 10 picks. Um, please to comment one. down below. Um, let us know who won this trade, uh, this this draft. Um, was it Dale's um, uh, old school so team, yeah. um, Gab's uh, master sponsorship team, or <laughs> my recent championship uh, players? Oh, come on, that's fires. Oh, shit, that's my. <laughs> um, just see, some of them the rings. Eh. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Dale, you want to end this? Close, close the show. Yeah, and, I mean, and, yeah. Wait, maybe, yeah, go, go. maybe for our uh, viewers, if you want to see more, maybe you can tell us which team you want to see us draft next, our all-time draft. Uh, I think we uh, know who's going, who we're going to draft. Yeah, next. well, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was actually thinking no we could do... Uh, I, I was actually thinking we could do FEU because I love FEU. I, I love the FEU Aho, players. Ako in the actually ako ako lasal. I really Lasal, oh, lasal pwede. Yung wala to lasal, 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 lasal. Kasi, Kasi si Dale is a fan of Lasal. Fan of Lasal si Dale. Tayo naman we hated Lasal. So who are the players that we hated the most na pinapatay tayo lagi? All right, all right.
Well, sige, wrap up. Sige, we'll do LaSalle. So, for anyone watching, watch out. Uh, so, mag-a-assign kami ng sobrang daming research kay Gab. Pakiabangan. <laughs> <laughs> Pakiabangan nyo yun, guys. Well, I guess Sam already told everyone, all our listeners, what they need to do. Subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying all of our UAAP content and all the other side slash urgent slash emergency pods that we've also done before hit the like button also the notification bell para updated kayo on when our new episodes will be up that was our up fighting maroons fantasy draft hope you enjoyed it we all did daming surprises daming big reactions so thanks again for watching and till next week your boleros are out See you bye 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 bye